Hi, I'm your host, David Kupferberg, writer, director, and food aficionado. And I'm here to bring a taste of the Hawaiian Islands into your kitchen. We are Cooking Hawaiian Style. Today we're going to be making a Hawaiian favorite, ahi poke, which is basically raw tuna salad. And it's super healthy, it's super easy to make. So uh, let's get to it. Just unwrap our fish here and season it generously on both sides with fresh cracked sea salt and fresh cracked pepper. Make sure you use sea salt, it really, really makes a difference. And then uh, once we're done seasoning, it's ready to go off to our pan for a quick sear. There's literally hundreds of different variations of this recipe. But today mine is going to be tataki style, which is to sear it a teeny bit on both sides just to add a little texture. In a very hot pan. And we're just searing it for about 5 to 10 seconds on each side. Very, very, very quickly. That's how quick. You just want to get a little bit of brown there. Or oh, doesn't that look lovely? Because we still want it to be pretty raw. So, okay, so we're done. Let's shut our oven off and leave our little tuna steak to rest. Okay, the next big component of uh, poke is the seaweed. Now you might say, where can you get your seaweed? Pretty much in any store, you can find these sheets of nori, um, you know, for making sushi. Uh, if you go to an Asian supermarket, they have these individual, these great little individually wrapped ones. So these are the ones I use. So get a few of these. few ounces worth and then you just kind of julienne them and this stuff's great for kids as a snack you know I used to have this friend uh, who was nearly six feet tall by the time he was 12 years old and his mother told me that sh she used to feed him seaweed when he was a little baby she would you know, grind it up just like baby food. And you know, six feet tall by 12 years old, so. Okay, so what you're gonna need to do is take this nori and just put it in a little bit of water and uh, let it kind of get wet a little bit, okay? And then we'll move on to the vegetables. Okay, so you're gonna, so for the vegetables, you're gonna want one green onion. And we'll just chop that up nicely. Just give it a nice rough chop. Get a couple more in here. Put that in our bowl. And then you're gonna want a little onion. This is a Vidalia. Normally you'd be using Maui onions, but we don't have them av available around here. It's a very sweet, um, very nice onion. So Vidalia is a sweet onion too. So it's a good substitute. So we're just going to give, we don't want it too oniony, so we're going to do a little bit of onions. Just a little bit, just a few ounces, just, you know, to give it a nice sweet kind of taste, crunchy. We're going to do a very fine dice on these onions. And as you can see, not very many. Not very many onions. Okay. And now we're ready for our fish. So, we have our fish. It's been nice and rested. We have our fish cutting board here. Which we're just going to put on. And uh, with the fish, you want cubes. So you want, you know, uh, cubes or rectangles. I like rectangles, so that's what I'm gonna do. And I'm just going to make nice, big slices, and then slice them up into rectangles. Oh, if you guys could smell this tuna, it smells just wonderful. So, we want 
Nice rectangles. So I want to keep that tuna flavor. Okay. And see that? We have nice, nice little rectangles. And before we add our spices and everything, we're just going to strain out our seaweed. Just get all the water out. And then you put that in there. And then from here, it's, it's very, very simple. You wanna add about a teaspoon of sesame oil. Well, actually, about two teaspoons of sesame oil. And then you want one teaspoon of olive oil, just to kind of cut that, you know, flavor and keep it nice and oily. And then we're gonna add a little bit more salt. This is sea salt, you gotta use sea salt if you can. You can find it in some fresh pepper. And last but not least, the little soy sauce. I use the cap to measure, about a teaspoon. If you want it spicy, which I like it spicy, add some crushed red pepper. If you don't like it spicy, don't. And if you want even more spicy, you can add spicy chili oil. I'm just gonna add a few flakes there. And then, we're just going to mix this all up. Cover it with a little plastic wrap, put it in the fridge, and you're ready to go. Uh, let it chill for about an hour, and um, you know, make sure you eat it the day you make it. And um, that's Aki Poke, a classic Hawaiian dish. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you can make it easily in your kitchen.